From the state capitol in Richmond, I'm Craig Carper. Over 100 Virginians with disabilities and their families came to Capitol Square on Tuesday to ask lawmakers to end the wait for community-based services. Over 11,000 Virginians receive in-home treatment for their developmental disabilities, but another 11,000 are waiting on Medicaid waivers to get the same community-based services. 3,000 people on that list are deemed priority one. Advocates hope to cut that priority list in half this year. They say community-based services are not only the right way to provide treatment, they're also less expensive than institutional care. It helps people live a life like yours in the community, a life, a home, a job, a life just like anybody else, whether it's just going out to see a movie or having some friends in the, over in the neighborhood, uh, that we all get the chance to live a life like yours in the community. A dozen lawmakers from both parties came to the rally to speak in support of additional Medicaid waivers. The House and Senate Money Committees will announce their proposals to tackle the problem when they unveil their budget amendments on Sunday. For Assembly 17, I'm Craig Carper. Broadcast of Assembly 17 is brought to you by the Virginia Education Association. An investment in Virginia teachers today will pay dividends tomorrow.